Hello everyone. In our today's video, we will be learning a very important topic, which is Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. The dual nature of electron as proposed by Lewis de Broglie led Heisenberg to propose his uncertainty principle. This principle states that it is impossible to know simultaneously or accurately two important factors which determine the movement of electron. That is its position and velocity, or we can take momentum. Detection of a particle as tiny as electron requires very low wavelength, which means very high energy radiations. The electron being very small on collision with a high energy photon changes the momentum of the electron. Therefore, even if we could accurately measure the position of the electron, we could not simultaneously measure its momentum as precisely because the probing photon would invariably change its momentum. And that is what Heisenberg principle is all about. So let us try to see the statement of Heisenberg principle. Before going into that, let us know about Heisenberg. His full name was Werner Karl Heisenberg. He was born on 5th December 1901. He was a German physicist and he was awarded the 1932 Nobel Prize in Physics. Now coming for his statement, it is impossible to measure simultaneously the position and momentum of a small particle with absolute accuracy or certainty. So according to his statement, as I have discussed, that it is impossible to measure the position and momentum of a small particle with absolute accuracy or certainty. We can never measure these two things with absolute accuracy. If an attempt is made, okay, let's say if we made an attempt to measure any one of these two quantities with higher accuracy, the other becomes less accurate. So that means if I try to find out the position of a subatomic particle with accuracy, then the momentum becomes less accurate. Or if I want to find out the momentum, then the position becomes less accurate. The product of the uncertainty in the position, now how much is the error in the position, and how much is the uncertainty in the momentum, that is delta p, is always constant. So that means we'll always have some error associated with the system if we try to find out the position and momentum. And according to Heisenberg, it was found out to be equal to, at least equal to, or greater than h by 4 pi, where h is the Planck constant. And you can see that value h by 4 pi, it will always come out to be a constant value. That means the error, the product of the error in finding the position and momentum has to be equal to h by 4 pi. It is already prefixed. So it can never be zero. If it cannot be zero, that means we can never find out the position and momentum of the particle accurately. Okay. So if I try to show you the mathematical statement, that is what actually is the mathematical statement. Delta X is the uncertainty in position. Delta P is uncertainty in momentum, which will be greater than or equal to H by four pi. Okay, where Delta X is uncertainty in position of the particle and Delta P is the uncertainty in the momentum of the particle. Now, what do we know is momentum is nothing but mass into velocity. So since mass we are taking as the rest mass, so we'll not change it. So delta V, which will become a or uncertain. Okay, so delta P will be equal to M into delta V. So if I substitute in the above equation, what I'll get is delta X, M delta V is greater than H by four pi. So this relationship relate uncertainty in position and momentum, this relationship relates the uncertainty in position and velocity, okay? Now, what is the significance of uncertainty principle? 
Thus, uncertainty principle tells us that it is not possible to think of an electron moving around a nucleus from one point to another within a fixed velocity at each point. We cannot say that because we cannot determine the position and the velocity of a moving electron with entire certainty, then how we can say that an electron moves in a fixed orbit with a fixed velocity. So that is not something which is possible to tell with certainty. We therefore to consider the electron as having a definite probability of being discovered at each point in space. So instead of being very accurate that where the electron is revolving in an orbit in which velocity, we talk about a definite probability of being discovered, a chance of being discovered at each point in the space. The uncertainty principle also lead us to the conclusion that experiments will not allow us to decide exactly whether the electron is a particle or a wave, okay? So remember that electron is treated both as particle as well as having the wave nature, that is what we call as dual nature. And therefore these two, particle and wave nature are complementary to each other. Okay, so as it is told that uncertainty principle is an inherent property of a particle. Remember that. To quote Stephen Hawking, Heisenberg uncertainty principle is a fundamental and inescapable property of the world. Okay, it is not just a principle, but remember that it's an inherent property of any subatomic particle to behave in such a way that it is not possible to find the position and the momentum or what we call as conjugate properties, this type of conjugate property simultaneously and accurately at the very same point of time. It's not possible. So we can conclude that it is not possible to detect an electron to pinpoint an electron in a particular uh, orbit or in a particular shell. That's why we talk about probability or chances of finding an electron in a particular region of space. And that region of space where the chances of finding electron is maximum, that region of space we call it orbitals. So that is how actually uncertainty principle tell us or give us the idea of orbital instead of having a well-defined path, which we call as orbit, which is not possible. And that is how actually it leads to the failure of Bohr model also. Bohr model tells us that an electron revolves in a fixed orbit, having a fixed velocity, okay, which is not possible. Okay, so that is the significance of uncertainty principle. Now let us come to some problems based on uncertainty principle. Like an electron has a speed of 300 meter per second, accurate up to 0.001%, what is the uncertainty in locating its position? So the solution, since the delta V is given to be 0.001% of 300 meter per second, so it will be 0.003 meter per second. So according to uncertainty principle, delta X M delta V, we can use equal to H by four pi, okay, for problems. So I'll just put the, substitute the values. So once I do that, except delta X, which is not given, I can easily find out the value, okay? Let us try to go for the next. The measurement of electron position if associated with an uncertainty in momentum, which is equal to one into 10 to the power minus 18 gram centimeter per second. What is the uncertainty in electron velocity? So now, what is given is momentum, we have to find velocity. Remember that Heisenberg principle does not relate momentum with velocity. But what do we know is delta P is equal to M delta V. So we can use this expression to solve such kind of problems where we substitute the value of delta P and M. And remember that the value of M I am taking in CGS, that is in grams, which is nine into 10 to the power minus 28 grams. Since the momentum is given in gram centimeter per second. If I do that, what I'll get is delta V equal to one into 10 to the power nine centimeter per second. Coming for the next problem, if the uncertainty in position and momentum are equal, so what they are saying is the uncertainty in position and momentum are equal, then uncertainty in velocity is, so they have given us four options. So how to solve this? So 
According to uncertainty principle, delta x into delta p is greater than h by 4 pi. What is given is delta p and delta x are equal, right? So that is given. So if I just put in place of delta x, delta p, so delta p into delta p will be h by 4 pi, or delta p is m delta v, so m delta v equal to h by 4 pi. So delta v square and m square will go into the right hand side denominator cross multiplication. And if I take the square root, one by m square will come out of the square root and four is nothing but two square. So it will come out. So one by two m root over of h by pi. That is actually our answer, which is nothing but option A. So that is how actually we can understand what is Heisenberg principle, what is the importance of Heisenberg principle, and how do we solve problems based on Heisenberg principle. So thank you, everyone. Do subscribe this channel for explanation on various topics in chemistry. Thank you.